It's me, Dog Dog 1985, and I like to say that there's levels to this because um apparently I lost the console wars as a 38, 39 year old man with children, and I'm out here stressing about console wars. Do you hear this, fool? What? Bro, come on, man. You I t- have lost. You too grown for this. I have lost the console war. What, nah, nah. what war are you talking? Bro, ex- huh? Bro, you got me confused. What war are you talking about, man? And the funny thing is, Dark Dark 1985, you did this to yourself, man. When people told you just to sit back and enjoy some video games, you wanted to worry about the whole political aspect of it, which only caused you to play less and less games. That's why I be calling out these content creators. But for some reason, you got a problem. People got a problem with it. Oh, you always focusing on the same people because these people are some of the worst examples of what we got going on in this community, man. You think they watch the video and they might say, you know what? This is kind of embarrassing. I'm a 39 year old man and I'm out here stressing about contours. Maybe I should do what this guy says and just play video games like everybody else. But no, you want to sit there and talk about how I lost the console war. Yeah. You lost that war when you decided to not play any video games. How about that? What do you mean by that? What I mean is... Yeah, you tell me. I no longer have it in me to fight Fight. this console war. There's no point in fighting. If you're only concerned with the console aspect of all these things, then... Nobody cares, man. At the end of the day, it's all about the quality of games, man. You see, this is what I try to tell you guys, bro. People like this that got involved in gaming, y'all were focusing on all the wrong things, man. Imagine any gaming period where we ever acted like this. Oh, the N64 was trash. It don't. It did so horribly to the PlayStation One. It was. Uh, it was trash, man. I'm no longer fighting for this. Hey, man, when you're running that Smash Bros. and playing, you play Mario Party? Yeah, man, that's Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask was pretty good. But y'all in here? What? What's going on? My mom just got me a new game at Blockbusters. Was, PlayStation is destroyed the N64. How could you ever, how could you ever play on this? Yeah, man, that Banjo Kazooie is pretty good, though. Yeah, that Golden Eye, man. Yeah, Golden Eye, Perfect Duck. Y'all ain't hearing me? Huh? What, what's going on, bro? What are what, what you doing? Y- 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 y'all didn't hear me. The-, the PlayStation 1 outsold the N64 10 to 1. Yeah, that Castlevania 64 was pretty dope. <laughs> the PlayStation. Nobody cared about that stuff back then. See, this is the problem. Yes, we had fanboys that would take shots at one of, a- one-, one of another. But we didn't do it to this degree, man. We would just say something smart and then leave it at that, man. At the end of the day, I've always enjoyed multiple gaming platforms. You know? Like, the, I, I don't get it, man. And to be honest with you, the only people that I noticed that would hate other people for having other consoles happened to be the ones that couldn't afford, which were the poor kids. The poor kids that'd be like, oh, your mom allowed you to have an original Xbox, GameCube, and a PS2? Yeah, the PS2's better. The GameCube's better. Because that's all they had at their house. So, of course, they felt the need to defend the only one platform that, that, that they got in their house. That's where this whole fanboy stuff happens because people can't afford to buy the other platform. So the behavior that you guys are doing is poor kid behavior at at the age of 39 years old. And is outselling the Xbox, the PlayStation. And is the PlayStation outselling the Nintendo Switch? Is the PlayStation outselling the Nintendo Switch in regards to software? Why do you guys want to perpetrate and act like the Nintendo Switch don't exist? I find that so funny from these pony bots, bro. Because he's really, to me, he's really just a PlayStation fanboy, bro. I mean, this dude is related to Porter Rock, bro. That's, I mean, come on, bro. I mean, at the end of the day, this man ain't nothing but a shill. This man is an industry plant planted by Porter Rock to make the Xbox look bad. I'm telling you, man, it wouldn't surprise me if they had these conversations before they went to bed. Like, hey, man, you know, get, you know, uh, you be a clown for Xbox. I'm sick and tired of all these clown content creators that be representing the box, man. That's why I don't mess with Kid Smooth's content, bro, because he's the same exact thing, man. You guys ain't nothing but a, a joker and a jackal. That's all you guys are, bro. People to make fun of you, to make fun of the Xbox community. But you ain't going to do that to me because I'm going to fully represent the community the way it's supposed to. And that just doesn't apply to Xbox. That applies to everybody as um games that run better on it the playstation here we go with this here we go with this narrative what are you talking about bro what do you mean 
every game runs better on PC. And second of all, not every single game runs better on the PS5. Some games run better on the series and some games run better on the PS5. Why can't you guys just be honest and say that? Why do you guys go to say all the, not all the games don't run better on the PS5? That is a complete blatant lie. Is it's, it's, it's doing a lot. PlayStation's only when it has VR. Like, it is it is what it is. Even nobody, if bro, you tell me the last time somebody went out there and bought a PlayStation VR 2, bro. Nobody even cares, bro. You know, you tell me the last time Sony went portable. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh well, why does that matter, though? Well, I mean, if you want to talk about how good Sony's doing in every aspect, let's talk about how they got a, they don't have a portable device. Like, I mean, come on, man. You guys are just nitpicking. Concerned with that at all. But what really changed all of this for me is every single day that I wake up and I turn on my PC, it's almost like I'm being fed by the Matrix a little bit more or I'm getting that red pill to get out of the... And I'm going to explain to you, right? And I've talked to some few PC dudes and they always tell people you got to be careful of this, right? Listen, if you have a gaming PC, you better be using it for what you're supposed to, which is gaming. A lot of gaming PC dudes would tell you that a lot of these console fanboys that do decide to upgrade, all they're doing is fixing up frame rates and specs and they're not even playing the games. You guys are spending more time trying to filter out the ray tracing. Oh, let me put this maximum resolution. Okay, let me get the maximum frame rate. You guys are doing so much of that, and you're not even playing the game. Like, I had a PC dude tell me. He's like, yo, console dudes, they got to be careful when they upgrade because once they see that they have the gateway to be able to have do all these things with the freedom, they, li- they literally forget the whole concept as to why they bought the PC in the first place, which happens to be... For video games. Now, with consoles, you can't do all that. So the only thing you can do is play a game on it. So that's why I try to explain to people, just because you play on PC don't make you a real gamer. What makes you a real gamer is the games that you play. And that's what you people don't understand. You think because you upgrade to a PC that you're a real gamer? Bro, if you got a PC and you don't play games on it either, then you're still a fake wannabe. Like, what makes you people think, oh, because you play on Xbox, you play on Switch, you play on PS5, that you're not a real gamer? That's not how it works. A real gamer plays video games. Tricks, and I see things a little bit differently. And that's what I wanted to make this video about today on this beautiful Sunday. All right, here we go. Beautiful Sundays. You guys say something like Steam, right? And the subscription service, I don't know how many games are in the subscription service, but I would venture that's probably not the same amount of games it's like this dude, man, he he's just too much, bro. Like it's just like what is the PC point of even Dude, weren't you just bashing PC talking about how your PC just broke and now all of a sudden PC's better than consoles? But I'm gonna change my mind, guys. The what? more information that I get. But what I'm telling you today is I have no fight in me left when it comes to this console war stuff. Not the console. You shouldn't had it. You shouldn't have been fighting in the first place. You should have just been out there enjoying yourself playing video games. And what's even more funny about this, he even goes as far to say that PlayStation and Xbox ain't nothing but apps. But who told you guys this way before he decided? It seems like you guys do watch my videos. Because it's true. There are nothing but applications in 20, 30 years in the future. That's what PlayStation and Xbox is going to be. Nothing but an app that you access through your PC or your mobile device, which happens to be your phone. Now, we want to talk about PlayStation versus Xbox. Uh We can. But at that point, then it really becomes silly because PlayStation is not doing what Xbox is doing. If you are not about consoles, you can't really promote or be excited about PlayStation. You you really can't. You could not care about consoles and still be excited with what Xbox is doing. For better or for worse. Well, a lot of PC gamers play on Xbox. I mean, if you, you hear it all the time, oh, yeah, I got, you know, a game share with my child. You know, I play on PC and my child plays on the Xbox Series S and we game share the Game Pass Ultimate. So, yes, of course, PC and Xbox is always going to be connected in that way. You know what I mean? But Sony, is a, it's completely different. But go ahead. However you want to take it. But for me, as a PC gamer, uh, what I'm telling you. Bro, is- you're not, bro. Bro, see, this is my problem, bro. It's the labels, bro. It's the labels. You know, I'm a PC. I got a PC platform, a grown man platform that I stand behind and I back. See, this is the problem. You went from being an Xbox fanboy. I don't know what he was before. An Xbox fanboy to now being a PC fanboy. 
to then go in as far to bash the PC to your son on son making fun of you. Why you buy that, Dad? I no no hold on hold on. He went from being an Xbox fanboy. No no no. Let's let's go through the whole history. He went through being an Xbox fanboy to going to being a PlayStation fanboy to being an Amazon Fire Stick fanboy, and now he's a fanboy. Well, he he and then he goes back and forth with PC and console. So what is your criteria, man? What are you representing? Are you trying to represent gaming as a whole? Or are you trying to resonate with a platform? Because now I'm starting... Because fanboys do this. Only fanboys resonate with a platform. I don't resonate with a platform. Somebody says, which of, I'll tell you some of my favorite platforms. But if somebody told me, uh, Gamester, w- w- what side you on, man? Gaming. Huh? No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, are you on PlayStation, Team PlayStation, Team Nintendo, or Team Xbox? Team Gaming. Huh? Bro, that's not that's not the answer for the question. I'm asking you: Are you a fan of? Are you a, a, a Nintendo? You know? Yeah, I, I mean, I value Nintendo. Oh, okay, so you're a Nintendo guy? No, I just like their games. What, uh, bro? I'm confused, man. Like, what are you talking about? It, it, you got to choose one. It's either you team Nintendo, team Xbox, team PlayStation, or team PC. Which side are you on? I just told you, I'm team gaming. What does that even mean? Team gaming? Well, that don't even, that's not even a part of the question, bro. Team gaming is a person that doesn't matter, regardless of what platform I play on. I'm here for the games. Oh, that's what it means. Oh, so you don't, so you don't have a designate a designated platform. No. Why as a grown man would I limit myself, man? I didn't even do that as a child. Is that Xbox and PlayStation are nothing more? Uh oh, t- tell them. Nothing- let them know, Doc. Let them know, cause games so with another W more let than just know. an app. Woo! Let's rewind that. As a PC gamer, what I'm telling you is that Xbox and PlayStation are nothing more, nothing more than just an app. What did I tell you? Gamester, what another W. Didn't I tell you guys that PC uh, is going to be the future of gaming and how consoles will shift towards more of a live service subscription as well as an app? Remember I said that? I've said this on plenty of videos about how Sony and Microsoft are trying to push for apps. That's why Microsoft's doing the Game Pass Ultimate, and that's why Sony's trying to push their PlayStation subscription service now, as well as putting their games on PC. I tried to warn you guys. I think what it is now, I think he's come to the realization. I I do think, I don't know if he watches my videos, but I think he fully understands the situation as to what's going on now, and now he just don't want to be a fan of the console. Like I said, these consoles are still good. They still provide value for the consumers. There's no reason to completely bash these platforms. I mean, what you're getting with these platforms for $500, is is pretty good than going out there and paying a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars for a PC. Okay, that's still gonna have issues. Like I said, y'all, like, what do you mean? It, you're still gonna have issues. PC gamers will tell you you're, you're still gonna have problems. I've had a friend that he tried to launch a game on his PC and he said it runs better on Xbox. It is what it is, man. They, 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 like this is a case by case basis. Just because you go to PC, which in a lot of ways is the ultimate platform, because you have access to a whole peripheral of titles and games, to emulation and all that and so forth. But you're still gonna have problems no matter no matter where you go. It's like a person like, "I'm moving out of America to go move in this country." You're gonna have problems. I'm moving out of this country to move to the next one. You're gonna have problems. No country, no system, no console, no. Nobody is perfect. That's it. When I go ahead and Uh-oh. decide Uh-oh. that I want to. Uh-oh. When I go ahead and decide that I want to go ahead and subscribe to Game Pass uh, Plus again. What? I will be playing PlayStation games on my PC. Oh, I, yeah. see, I see it now. Yep, they're doing it. I told you guys. I told you. Yes, I'm going to have to Look, I, I see him all right here. This is what I was trying to warn you guys, man. So when you guys were sitting there fighting about this console war garbage, I was telling y'all how they were having connectivity to PC as well as uh, the PlayStation 5 platform. Even Sony's doing it. I tried no, to warn y'all. That's the only way I could do it right now. But it was- I try to warn y'all. I try to warn you guys, man. That game that you played five years ago or whatever, now that game has been quote unquote remastered because your hardware could run it better. That's, bro, that's, that's, that's what. To me, I'm going to just, like I said, because, like, I'm going to just add in because he's not really adding anything of su- any sort of substance. Um, gaming, it's my problem with gaming is that we're not going to see the passion anymore. Everything's going to be involved around money. Uh, there's going to be a lot of games that do continue to come out, but a lot of them are going to be the very popular ones. Companies are going to be take less gambles and try to bring out new IPs. It's just, like I said, man, gaming 
as successful as it is, it's still very much in a bad predicament. I mean, you know, you got people thinking that Sony and Xbox are going to rekindle the days of the original Xbox and PS2 or the 360 even. Those days is over, man. Gaming is just, I'm telling you, man, it's trash. There's nothing really to be excited about. Yes, I'm excited for a lot of the games that Xbox showed, but let's be honest, guys, man. It ain't knock your socks out, man. Let, let's just, let's keep it real, man. Let's keep it a buck. Okay, I'm tired of people lying and I'm tired of people fronting because you're a fan of something. As good as the Xbox showcase was with all those great quality games coming to the platform, it, bruh, it's nothing, bro. It's nothing. It's just like when they talked to Mike Tyson when he had his championship belt. He's like, he's like, he's like, when you get older and you know, and stuff like that. And he's like, well, Mike, but you're a heavyweight champion. Yeah, it's nothing, man. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. That's how I feel right now. You know what I mean with Xbox? When people say, oh, we got all these guys, it's nothing, 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 man. Because you understand that the days of when these things was out, it was better. Those were the glory days of these things. We're not in the glory glory period anymore. Y'all should understand this, man. At the end of the day, all they're doing is trying to pick up the pieces to cater to these casuals to hopefully get them to enjoy gaming the same way you did back in the past. That's what's going on here. And like I said, you can still enjoy very much of that, which I still am. But my point is, is this, that gaming would never go back to the golden age of gaming. So stop trying to chase it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you can't be excited for Gear Z Day because I'm actually quite excited for that. But let's be honest, man. It's not going to feel like the same way when you picked up Gears 1, 2, and 3. Y'all know this. It's not going to be the same. It's going to be a great game, but it ain't. It's not going to be the like, oh, 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 <laughs> make you want to fall out your seat. You you guys know this, man. Cut it out, bro. I can't stand when people like to lie. And I'm not bashing Xbox gamers. So I'm saying this for everybody. It's just like when they got a new Mario game, you know, and they want to sit there and act like oh, 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 like Mario has never jumped like that before. Like, you get what I mean? Like, they, they it's a 2D Mario game, and then you got player S and say, What is this? What, what is this? Because they changed the animation of his of his eyebrows or something. Ooh, what is this? Acting like Mario has never jumped like that before. What is this? Like the days of NES and Paul, like people discovering video games, man. You guys acting like primitive cavemen, bro. All these things that you've seen, we've already done already, man. But like I said, I'll try to throw out some arguments about, like, for example, like when my dad went from playing games on 2D to gaming going 3D, that was one of the craziest periods of my life, man. Let's just talk gaming history. One of the craziest periods of my life, man. You went from playing games to 16-bit to seeing a 64-bit graphics, man. I'm telling you, man, my dad's jaw dropped. He's like, wow. Like, I guarantee for a lot of the older dudes out there, bro, like playing Contra, you know, and he still loved those games. Those are his favorite games and stuff. But he's like, bro, when he seen Super Mario 64 and he seen the way I was jumping in the tubes and jumping off the walls he, with the fluidity, especially even nowadays, man, was quite crazy. It really was, man. Back during when that game came out, it was very crazy, man. You did not see nothing like that. Sony tried to do some fake wannabe 3D Crash Bandicoot, but all it was was 3D, but in plain. But this game was real 3D, man. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That was real 3D. It didn't take until Spiral the Year of the Dragon and all those other games for Sony to come out to show that they could do 3D as well like that. But, man... Like, man, you got, you know, you that feeling, man. It's it's hard to explain because y'all didn't grow up in that era. But that feeling, man, that's what next generation gaming was about, man. We're barely seeing any differences with these platforms. And that's the sad part about it, man. A lot of these games get run on old platforms. It's in, it's embarrassing. Uh, and to the people out there that are talking about my Walmart PC, right? And they're saying, well, your Walmart PC is not going to last you. This is never. But again, the difference is. I could go ahead and upgrade my Walmart PC right now today to something more powerful than what the PS5 Pro is probably going to be. Uh, see, this is where I'm going to have to disagree. You're like, huh? You disagree with him? I'm, I'm only disagreeing with him in regards to the upgrade portion. These consoles have upgrades, too. It's so funny that how you PC, whoa, he's a PC wannabe, not PC gamers. Then when I sit there and act like consoles ain't the uh, console upgrades ain't the same thing as you guys changing out your motherboards or whatever. It's the same. It's the same concept. You know, you want that better resolution in frames? Well, buy the next, uh, not next part for your PC essentially. But with consoles, it's essentially buying a whole new console. 
right? So it's like it's the concepts are very similar, man. That's all I'm trying to say. But you people want to sit there and run with these narratives. But go ahead. I could do that today. Like t- today, there's nothing holding you back when you're playing on. Which the- is good. That's one thing about PC that I, I that I enjoy more most than that, what consoles don't have is the freedom. Like you said, you're you're right. You could do that right now. Consoles, you gotta wait. PC platform, the open platform, whatever you want to call it. And now I look at Xbox, PlayStation, EA. See, PC gaming, and I'm gonna be honest with you. For Dark, it's it's good. It's good, right? But for me, this is my problem with PC. No, like, what? You're gonna speak about the problems of PC? Yes, I'm going to speak about the problems of PC. Because you guys think that you got the most glorious platform. And I'm gonna tell you another reason. This is how I see it. Single player, PC, multiplayer console. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa that don't make sense, Gamestop. Multiplayer is better on PC, which is true. But there's one underlying reason as to why I choose console over PC. And people are going to ask me, why? The cheaters. The cheaters online. There's a lot of cheaters online on PC, man. I played Gears 5. Bro, every time somebody was cheating, they happened to have a PC symbol. I'm sorry, bro. As much as I love the PC gaming community like the next person, you guys got a lot of cheaters. Consoles, is very hard to cheat in comparison. That's the only reason as to why I choose consoles over PC in regards to multiplayer. Now, if we're talking about single player games and stuff like that, PC all the way. Ain't nobody going to front and take that away. But when it comes to online multiplayer, I like to have good competitive games, guys. You feel me? Like, I'm not saying I go crazy, you know, try hard mode. But I like to, you know, play some competitive games, test my abilities, whatever the case is. Consoles provide me that experience. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? But like I said, for certain games like Gears and they they, they all have this PC, you know, it, it kind of sucks, man. I kind of preferred when games was just locked down to a console in regards to multiplayer. Because like I said, man, Gears 5 is a great game, but the cheaters, man, there's a lot of cheaters, bro. I was playing Master Chief Collection, and this dude was cheating, bro. You know what I mean? And like I said, and now he was a PC gamer, man. I, I, I'm just like, not saying everybody does, not saying that, but there's a lot of cheaters on PC. But like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, you know what I mean? And like I said, man, I'll probably have some more videos to come. Peace out.